Good morning guys, it's Hidden History out this morning for um, another really special location. So we're out here in Dover again for Tour 13 uh, and we're at a site called the Wind Chelsea Caves. So the Wind Chelsea Caves were uh, built in the First World War uh, but not constructed by the end of it so they were designed to uh, be a public shelter for people to take a refuge in the event of Zeppelin raids um, and then more so they were used in the Second World War because by the time the construction here was finished uh, there was no more threat from the Germans uh, at that time of the Great War. So they were used again in the Second World War to protect against Luftwaffe raids uh, and obviously for the public to take refuge inside. So we're going to take a look inside shortly. Um, I'm going to duck this video out. As you can tell it's an extremely hot day so uh, we've looked high and low for this entrance but we've managed to locate it. So uh, yeah, stay tuned folks and uh, we'll see you inside. Welcome back guys, so we're now inside the um, Wind Chelsea Caves, um, we popped back for a, a quick visit this afternoon, uh, we came in this morning but I just wanted to come back and uh, get some more footage of this place because it's absolutely stunning, it really is nice. You can see the old glass walls again, they're really nice. I can hear Alfie and Mitch out the front. There's um, another member of the team, Richard. He might just have to duck the torch now. How you doing, all right? Enjoying it? So uh, when we came out of here this morning, we could see that there was people that were uh, putting the panels up on other buildings within the vicinity of these tunnels. So we kind of felt like we'd had to come back and have another look because if they start wanting to block these up, then they're gone forever. And uh, there's no way of documenting their history. So we're just taking a nice slow walk through the tunnels this time round. Um, as I said previously, you know, these were uh, First World War tunnels that were used by the public in the event of Zeppelin raids uh, that took place over Dover at the time. Um, just being cautious of the fact that around this corner there's a little bit of a hole in the floor. And I don't fancy that. But by the time these tunnels were finished in 1918, there was no longer a threat from the Germans as the war was over. Just coming into this bit again, we can see the, uh, the boring machine, similar to the 1880, 1880 channel tunnel attempt. So a very, very similar design. Really nice to look at guys, really nice. And then we come to the, like, this entrance here. Again, a different kind of technology has been used for this. Very strange how we've got one part of it that's been used almost as if it was the channel tunnel site and then a different technology a little bit further along, but something we can always look into researching. Again, another segment of uh, a boring tunnel technology. Did you want to go through to that bit or did you not want to worry? Yeah, fine. Okay guys, we're going to get through this small hole, so um, I'm going to just cut this video out and we'll return when we get to the other side, so see you soon. Hello uh, guys, we're back and we're just watching Richard get through the uh, <laughs> hole in the wall. Sorted? Yeah. Okay, so. Just panning round now, you can see the other two separate tunnels that head off. What we also have here, um, apart from the two tunnels, is another tunnel round to the right hand side. And we also have another uh, hole in the wall which leads off to another tunnel. Now we might end up doing this with the team at a later date, um, but you can see there's another tunnel complex the other side of this wall. So we're going to look to do that maybe at another point in time. But for now, I 
after coming here this morning we believe that these two tunnels that veer off in front of us might be connected to the quarry that's just at the side of this location. Now this morning they seemed very much operational. But now it's very, very quiet, so maybe they've packed up for the day, who knows. And then we've got this tunnel, which I think leaves, which I think leads around from the other two. Let's have a small walk down the left-hand side. Okay, so we went down to this side earlier, which we can see had old ventilation parts. And then we've got a tunnel very similar to this one that we believe heads out to the quarry. So we're not going to head down that way in case there are still people working in the in the quarry site. But um, yeah, those both lead out, I do believe, to one of the quarry entrances. So if we head back this way, where the tunnel split, we believe there's a third entrance that leads out to the quarry. Which is down this tunnel. But what we also have this side is tunnels that veer off uh, and the one that leads around. Now all these here chalk lined and modern light fitting so they must have been used after the um, after the second world war but not exactly sure from which time frame they would have been used. So yeah, but we believe that these come out to the quarry, so until I've got my full team of people here, I don't really want to venture down this far. So we'll, um, oh actually, tell a lie, sorry, there's a part that leads off. And this actually looked opened earlier, so I'm not quite sure. We've got another room there that leads back to the tunnel on the left hand side. But it's almost as if people were stocking stuff here. Like I said, maybe from the quarry, maybe not, who knows. And then we've got some tunnels that lead off here. Again, possibly to the, uh, the quarry site on the left hand side, but not entirely sure. We can see an opening. I think this complex here uh, may be used as toilets, but not entirely sure. It's very difficult to get down there with the, the wooden beams stuck in the way, but they look very similar to um, toilets or maybe toilet complexes of some sort, who knows. And then if I just back up, you can see that this tunnel then leads round to where we started off coming through the wall. So let's head back through this way. Really impressive to see a First World War site, guys. Um, most of the tunnels that we visited have been around the Second World War era. Until more recently when we visited two tours of the Western Heights, which obviously predate this to Napoleonic. But it's nice to see a set of tunnels intact like this from the First World War period. Really, really nice gem. And um, yeah, just an altogether really nice find. So I'm going to stop the video now. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, revisit this afternoon after this morning's visit. Uh, please continue to like and subscribe the channel. If there's anything you'd like to see, uh, please let us know. Please leave the comments. Good, bad feedback is all really important. So um, we'd love to hear from you. Thanks, guys. So um, we've just done a quick afternoon visit back into the Wind Chelsea Cave. So. Uh, just documenting maybe what we didn't have a chance to see earlier on today so yeah um, we're just heading back out of the caves now but yeah I hope you've really enjoyed today it's been uh, amazing to see this great war uh, wonder to be honest um, and uh, yeah hopefully we'll be back down here soon with my team uh, and when I say my team I mean my full team uh, so we can do the other bricked up 
hole in the wall tunnel that leads off so uh, yeah stay tuned guys uh, thanks for joining us today and uh, we'll see you real soon